Hi everyone. I I haven't been very well recently and I haven't been vlogging very much. The two are, I suppose, partly related, but partly I just haven't been vlogging very much because I haven't felt like there's been a huge amount to vlog, but over the last few days I haven't been feeling particularly well. On Saturday I went out to the cinema with Stephen. We were going to watch Coco and on my way to the cinema I nearly passed out and then on the way back from the cinema I nearly passed out another few times. Um, so I went to the doctor yesterday. They think that it's probably viral. I did go to the doctor a few weeks ago, I think maybe about three weeks ago and they thought that I had a viral infection at that point and obviously now I'm feeling a bit worse than I was three weeks ago so they've sent me for some blood tests, I got them done today, so I'm just going to wait and see what those say. But at the end of January, I ordered some business cards from Moo and they have just arrived. So I thought that I would just put on my camera and show you my business cards and what they look like because it doesn't really matter if I don't have any makeup on and if I'm not feeling that great, I can still film. So I just got 100 business cards because I don't tend to go through them all that quickly anyway. I think any time that I've bought business cards before, then I've ended up not finishing them. I think I might need scissors to get into this, hang on. Okay, so I have two boxes of business cards and then I got a case to carry them and I got four designs in total. So this is one of my designs. This was one of the pictures that I drew in January. So I decided, since this was my favourite picture from January, I would use this as one of my business card designs. And then the back, this was one of the other things that I drew in the month. And since it was a picture of me, I decided to put it on the back of my business cards with my information. And we have Unicorn. The two mice in a teacup and my astronaut.
It has been such a long time since I last spoke to you. Um, trying to think of everything that's happened. On Valentine's Day, we went on the Puffin Billy steam train, which was actually a present from my parents for Christmas, but we had a voucher which we could use at any point throughout the following year, and we decided to use it for Valentine's Day. So that was a three hour ride on a steam train, which takes you through the Dandenong Ranges and you get a three course lunch with that. So that was really nice. The train was kind of a bumpy ride, so you had to be a bit careful when you're eating, but it was really nice anyway. You got to see a lot of scenery and then when you're about halfway through the journey, you get out and you get to walk around this lake and then you get back on and you have your dessert as you're going back into town again. So really enjoyed that and all the women that were on the dining carriages got a red rose. Um, there's different kinds of carriages, so there's the dining carriages where you can have lunch or afternoon tea and then there's the kind of general admission carriages and you could see everybody in the general admission carriages sitting with their legs dangling out the sides so that was kind of amusing. Um, since then I've just been doing my drawings every single day. I've been working on an animal alphabet throughout February so now that we're on the 27th my animal alphabet is finished because I did Z is for zebra yesterday so today I have to come up with something different to draw. It's the afternoon already, it's coming up for two o'clock and I haven't drawn yet because I slept later this morning. Normally I get up about six, but this morning I allowed myself to sleep until nine because I've been going to bed quite late, getting up at six. I'm really run down, um, which I'll talk about a bit in a second. So I decided that I was going to allow myself to sleep later this morning and then I've just been kind of taking it easy, doing a few things around the house and now because it's coming up for two o'clock I'm going to have to get ready to go out because at 2.30 I have an appointment to get an ECG and a 24 hour Holter monitor which means they're going to be monitoring my heart for the next 24 hours and that's just because I've been continuing to not feel well. It's been going on for about two months now and every now and then I feel like I'm going to faint. So they just want to check that it's nothing that's going on with my heart and so I guess I better get ready and head out. Okay, so that's me now back and as you might be able to tell, I'm all hooked up to my 24 hour heart rate monitor. So I've got to wear this now until about half past two tomorrow so I'm gonna have to go back in the afternoon and get it taken off and then they will take out the disc and get it analyzed and send the results to my doctor so 24 hours have now passed and I've gone and given back the Holter monitor they said that the results should be back by Friday, but I've just made an appointment for Monday so that the doctor has time to go through them and see what they're like before I go and get the results. So we'll see what they're like. I've got marks stuck on me now from where the electrodes were, which are a bit itchy. It started itching last night and I couldn't scratch it because obviously there's an electrode stuck on your skin and you have to leave it there for 24 hours. This one actually came off during the night so I had to stick it back on when I realised. It was kind of an uneventful 24 hours. There wasn't a huge amount of dizzy spells. I never felt like I was going to pass out during that 24 hours. So. I don't know how much information there will be on there. There were a couple of times where I did feel dizzy and so I recorded those and there were lots of times where I felt just a tiny bit dizzy but it was literally a second. 
and it was so brief and so mild that I didn't think it was worth recording those but I guess we'll see if the heart monitor picked anything up. So now I'm just going to sit and do my drawing for today and that's it basically because it's the last day of February. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. I realise that I haven't spoken a huge amount this month. There hasn't been a lot of vlogging going on but hopefully I'll pick it up a bit more again next month. Subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you all again next month. Let's get on with this.